Alright guys, welcome back to the Java tutorial series. Here's our uh, program from last time. This just uh, stores numbers, characters, doubles, and strings to memory and then prints them out with system.out. Now you see in system.out, now we're going to do a little bit of system in, which means we're going to be taking input from the user. Um, what that means is, say we don't know our variable. Say we want to know we want to ask the user what their GPA was and then we want to reprint that to them. We can do that very easily but we need to do some extra steps. Up here before we even start public class what we need to do is type import java.util utilities um, dot scanner semicolon and that'll import the scanner object. This is basically something that uh, binds the keyboard to the program and lets us receive input from it and it's already been coded by Java so do we, we don't have to do any work um, to completely recode that so what we're gonna do now is create a new scanner we'll type scanner which by the way has to be capitalized at all times KB uh, you can do any variable name sometimes people do SC for scanner KB for keyboard I usually just do SC scanner SC equals new scanner system dot in oops alright so we've created a new scanner which uh, gets input from the keyboard and it's called SC so now we'll type uh, system dot out dot print line enter your GPA and then what we'll do is we'll do string because the uh, actually sorry we're going to be doing double has to be lowercase because what we're going to be entering is usually a uh, number point something for a GPA so if we wanted to do uh, a GPA we'd usually select a double we'll do double GPA equals SC dot next double uh, open parentheses close parentheses um, semicolon. So that creates a double GPA which comes from the next double that the keyboard enters. Now that doesn't make much sense right now, it will in just a second. Now we'll type system.out.println and we'll do GPA. So now we're going to get the GPA from the user and then reprint it out to them. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll say enter your GPA. We'll do GPA was 4.2 or 4.3 and it will say 4.3 so now it's stored our answer to memory and it's reprinted it out to us now if we wanted to make this a little bit more user friendly and make it make sense we could say your GPA was plus and then I'll add this append it whatever you want to say it uh, add it onto the end of what we said so now if we run it enter your GPA our GPA was a 6.2 say your GPA was 6.2 alright so now we've created a basic input output program that can get an input from the user and then output it so if we can uh, add a little bit more interesting to this we can ask the user for their name system dot out dot print line enter your name and then we'll do string because we're entering a string this time not a double name equals sc dot next we don't need anything after that because if we just put next then it will assume that we're entering a string so it'll store our name to memory and then what we're gonna do is go system dot out dot print line actually better idea next mess that up And we'll say name plus comma space enter your GPA. So now it'll say their name comma enter your GPA. All right. So let's run this real quick. And let's enter your name. My name is Adam. Adam, enter your GPA. And we can keep on going from there. Seven. Your GPA was a seven point zero. And we could add something like comma or space comma plus actually we'd have to add a plus to the end of this 
because we're adding this to it plus name so now if we run it enter your name typing in the program Adam Adam enter your GPA GPA was one your GPA was one Adam actually that should be right here and the space should be afterwards there are a few formatting things that you have to figure out when you're running these there we go so now we've got an input output program that receives the name and the GPA from one user and then can output it to them again so we'll be using this as some more advanced things in the future but for now we're just gonna stick with this uh, if you want to move on go ahead and I'll see you guys in the next video